people are wondering um, how you can uh, walk faster, I can show you some some things I practice sometimes. Like you can practice sort of just twitching your legs, sort of. You're, you just sort of twitch your muscles to practice. So that's basically how how you start off is you just sort of start flicking your muscle and just practice moving it really quick and that way you can just walk really fast like that. <laughs> just try it sometime, you'll see what I mean. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I have some pretty good stories, that's one of my uh, skills or talents, I guess, uh, storytelling. Because um, I, I do some strange things without thinking sometimes. Like, um, one time, um, when I was walking to work in the morning, about two years ago, um, sorry? Yes, that's, that's assumed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm always speed walking. So it, t it takes about half an hour to get from where I lived to work. And uh, at night, I guess it was raining because uh, it was still raining in the morning. There was like a big uh, <clears throat> puddle. And usually I cross over this little puddle to get to work. But this morning it was raining hard, almost as hard as it's ever rained. You know? <laughs> and um, so I went to <clears throat> to go across and I realized, you know, the water's pretty deep. So I thought, okay, well, I'll take off my shoes and I'll roll up my pants and I'll, I'll, I'll just walk across. So I started walking in and I got up to my knees and I realized like, wow, this water is deeper than I thought. So you can imagine it's 8.30 in the morning and I have to be, actually, maybe it was like, yeah, it was 8.30, I have to be there by nine. It takes half an hour to get there. so. I could go another way to work, but I'd be late. So I decided, I don't want to be late. Um, I'm gonna just gonna cross over. So I took the next logical step. I took off my pants. And it's like 8.30 in the morning, in like July. And for some reason I decided, I'll just take off my pants, you know, just for a second. And I'll like pull them up in the air with my jacket and my shoes. And I'll just cross over the creek to get to the other side. So I'm holding like my pants my shoes and my jacket up in the air with my umbrella like my umbrella wasn't up because it was too hard to do that but anyway so I'm crossing with all this stuff in the air and I got up to my chest in the water and I decided like I don't, well I don't know my brain turned on or something and I realized what am I doing I don't have a spare change of underwear at work <laughs> so I decided I, I just panicked. I dropped my cell phone in the water, I dropped my shoes in the water, I lost my keys. So I, uh, by the time I got out and I realized I lost my keys, I was the only one home. I was locked out of my house. So I had to put on my pants, go to the Mac store, and ask my uh, landlord to let me a spare key to get back into my house. And uh, <clears throat> so. Instead of being late, I ended up just missing the whole day. So I sent an e I had sent an email because my phone had fallen in the water and the email went something like this. Hi Marie, sorry I can't make it into work today. I lost my keys, may have ruined my cell phone, and almost fell in a creek. Hope to be back tomorrow with a new brain, Jeremy. And that is how I became as became known as Splash around the office. Um, even more recently, I went to pick up my criminal record check at the police station just over there, and I was looking at it when I walked out of the building, and I was walking up to my car, and so I just, you know, walked right up to my car, and I looked in the driver's seat window, and I saw this blonde-haired woman, and I wondered, like, Oh, what is going on? And I realized, oh, this isn't my car. <laughs> so I walked, I walked like around her, her car, right? So my car is like right beside it. And I was, I was so embarrassed. Like I, it was, 
because I what I had done is like I, I guess I had just right gone for the handle and she was like right there. So she, she you just imagine she's sitting in the car and there's this guy who comes up and then he's like so he's he's so disappointed after he realizes it's not his car. So I walked around to my car and I I was I sort of want to I don't know, kind of apologize or something and I looked inside the car and she was laughing hysterically. And I just I couldn't I couldn't believe it. Like I've never seen someone laugh. It looked like she lost her mind. She was laughing so hard. <laughs> so I guess I'm going to show you uh, a different way of uh, opening bananas, and I need uh, three three volunteers. I think that went pretty well for the first song, but let's give these girls a... 